the Samsung Galaxy Note series outside of the Note 9, all of the specs for it were subpar or for your average consumer. The Z Flip and the Fold slash upcoming Fold 2, I would imagine, is the new Note. There will be no more Notes. I The one caveat is they release one more Note just to put 120 hertz in it and put all this good stuff that they put in the S line and the Note line. But the fact that I just said that should indicate that there will be no more Note. The Note signify the advancement of tech and what we will see in Samsung products going forward, not just because it had an S Pen, that's what the note stood for. No, the, the note stood for pushing technology. They pushed technology as much as they could with the S line, the Ultra, the Z Flip, and the Fold. And none of that has the name Note in the name. So unless in a redub or kind of throw note in the name when they release the second gen fold device. If that gets a, an S Pen, which I can see it getting an S Pen, that most definitely has now taken the place of the Note. What is going on, my peeps? It's Michael Reversal Productions. Back here with another video. Back here to finally unbox this device. Man, I'm bittersweet about it. Yes, that's because I got a new phone. Yes, I put a poll up on Twitter. Uh, it was surprising to see that you guys actually guessed that I was going to get this device. But maybe you guys follow. You guys have been following me for a while, right? Because I've been very outspoken about the Note series. <clears throat> and some of y'all knew me and thought I was going to get me a tablet. And I would have, but that price point was kind of <laughs> crazy right now. So I had to get something else in the meantime. Now, trying to figure out how to open this box here. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> those who guessed it y'all was right i got that galaxy s22 ultra in its prime glory now i got mine i got the t-mobile variant i didn't go unlocked and the reason why i didn't go unlocked was because uh again the price point was kind of crazy but really the reason why i'm bittersweet is because i have to trade in my galaxy z flip 3 for it and I got way better trade-in credit through T-Mobile. I got a thousand dollars, so I basically got all my money back for the uh, Z Flip 3, as opposed to Samsung only providing four hundred dollars trade-in credit, which is crazy. I don't even understand the logic behind that. So I'm bittersweet because I love my my Flip, but that one that's a device you're gonna continue to upgrade over time because of the technology still being in its infancy. Tigris is back as we cut open the Galaxy S22, uh, S22 Ultra. Now, I have not mistaken, let me call it the note yet on camera. I have off camera. And as I open it here, you guys can see. It's uh, okay. Okay, oh shoot. <clears throat> now, this is my first note like device. As you guys know, I've been, ooh, look at that screen. It's been a while, boy. It's been a while since I had a big phone that had to stay <laughs> in its size, right? The Z Flip 3, 6.7 inches when unflipped. And the, oh, 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 look at the butt, look at the butt, the butt. Oh, oh, this phone, Wow, it's been a while since I held a big phone like that. It's wider too, of course, in comparison. Like, it it, it just, you guys can see, I probably, but I mean, it's just, it's wider than the Z Flip, which makes sense. The Flip is actually in a comfortable size. This phone also is comfortable in the hand. Surprisingly, it's just bigger, and I haven't held a bigger phone like that in a while. I opted for that burgundy color because it reminds me of that, that beautiful, sh <sighs> wine red uh that's in iron man suit and iron man three you know what i'm saying so you know i had to rock that <laughs> come on come on oh look she said she helped me pick <laughs> it she said she helped me pick it right <laughs> Woo! Mm. now also oh these camera modules are huge <clears throat> now i'm actually a fan of the design i'm a fan of the cameras the camera cutouts i don't know why people don't like the camera cutouts but i i like the camera design, I like that it's more simple. Uh, now, I understand the concerns because I've seen that drop test where the cameras is completely shattered on the back, but 
what you know just take care of your phone put a case on it you know and even if you did have the the old camera module from the s21 ultra uh or uh, s21 ultra s20 ultra you still may damage the camera modules with a drop like that so uh, I, I don't be surprised if you know you're gonna hear a lot about that with with this phone in particular because of the redesign on the back but i really really like this camera of course that's the screen I ain't cut it on yet won't be planning on doing a setup i just definitely want to bring you guys this device now of course you guys see the box there's nothing else in the box i mean you know what i'm saying <laughs> no charger <laughs> gone in the days of the charger thank apple right mm -hmm. Now, here's my concern about that. You know, Samsung at least is trying to make the claim of, you know, trying to save waste and everything um, by not just putting a bunch of chargers in the boxes. Here's uh, the USC to C cable you get. And then, of course, the uh, SIM card removal uh, tool. But the argument against that is you're wasting more plastic by having people buy chargers instead of just including a charger in the box that you're already sending to people. And especially with Samsung, since you guys are trying to establish a new standard with the 45 watt fast charging, you might as well give everybody a 45 watt charger at least once before you then opt out of providing people chargers or give us the option to want a charger at checkout. You know, when we're trying to buy the phone, there should be an option of do you want the charger in there? Maybe pay an extra $10 for the 45 watt. Or, you know, if, you, if you're gonna give us at least at minimum a 25 watt, you know, at least allow us to have that option to include a charger in the box with the phone. Um, I think that's more fair than just dropping off the planet just because Apple's doing it. That, that makes no sense to me. So the model I got in terms of the S22 Ultra, this phone I'm gonna have to get used to. I am, woo, it, it feels substantial. I mean, as you guys can see, it's much more boxy. Uh, rounded off at the top, but it's still much more boxy and of course we came for that S pin right now I'm happy Samsung made this decision. Wow, it's gonna take a while trying to get this out. Oh, it's a little low fella, too <clears throat> Little low S pin y'all see that it's a little low S pin I'm gonna have to get used to this of course But I think Samsung made the right decision in combining let's go ahead and finally hit that power button Is that juice? It's this juice. <laughs> uh, I, <clears throat> it was a smart idea from Samsung to combine the Note with the S series. That's something that I kind of had said in the past. I definitely think that was a better idea for them to do that and not continue the Note line because the S series had blown past the Note line in terms of specs, in terms of quality. The S series. Oh wow! It actually, just straight booted up. I didn't. Did y'all? Did you see T-Mobile? Mm -mm. Yo. Not yet. Well, but I mean, it's on though. Sure. So hold up, the T-Mobile and Samsung, they got this quiet new, no, hey, don't, mm -hmm. but yes, as I was saying, way smarter for them to combine the Note series with the S series, especially with the now established, you know, flip foldable line, right? And with the Fold 2 having an S Pen with it now, and the, well, the Fold, three right no no fold two did too and the fold three did no the fold two the fold three at minimum has <laughs> at least the fold three has the s pen and we hearing that the z fold four may actually house the s pen much like the note series did so with the s22 ultra now becoming more or less the note experience i think that's a perfect idea uh for samsung and it works in their favor because now people can get an s pen with their phone and not have to wait for this weird mid year you know cycle refresh so yes good to see uh that from samsung as i said it was a free uh storage upgrade through t-mobile or through samsung to upgrade and i got the 512 gig model they didn't offer the one terabyte which makes sense but i did get the 512 gig model and then one of the nice features with uh, One UI 4.1 is that you can actually use your RAM, which has 12 gigs of RAM. You can set aside a lot of that RAM as virtual storage as well. So that's also very, very neat. They used to tell you everything on the back of the box and now they don't. Oh, they even, 
maybe even cheaper now on the details on the back. That's crazy. Very, very nice to see how Samsung allowing us to customize our phone more, get make more use out of our apps and everything like that. If I click the power button again, hit start, I have to insert a SIM card from your service. And that's probably how I might get the T-Mobile logo after that. But this is, in all its glory, the burgundy Iron Man red, if you will, S22 Ultra. I am excited to dog on try this out. Oh, just oh the click click, the click click, oh the click click, oh oh the how's it oh, okay come on now. Mm -hmm. Oh well how about I take this uh screen protector off? Ooh. Ooh, it's just like the tablet experience, baby. Now, yes, the pen probably could have been a little longer or a little thick uh, a little thicker you know but i guess when you're holding your hand you know you get your little typing on so interesting okay okay i dig it so definitely something i'm gonna have to get used to but that is the s22 ultra in a nutshell i'm gonna set it up come back with my first impressions i'm sure there may be a day one patch update or something seeing as the phone does officially release on february 25th today is monday uh february 21st or second so you know got the phone early kudos to ups and samsung and t-mobile <laughs> for getting these out early to us um but yes this phone officially releases on the 25th so let me know your thoughts and comments down in the section in the comment section below what you guys think about this of course qhd plus in terms of the screen you can rock 120 hertz while qhd got a 5000 milliamp battery we're gonna see how that how it handles all of that as well and the first test this is going to have with me is being at work with me for 12 hours today because i got a 12 hour day work at president's day at the at the at the post office so <laughs> we're going to see how this baby lasts <laughs> after i'm done setting everything up i got like a few hours before i go to work so uh, nothing i have to breathe too hard at but Again, let me know down in the comment, in the comment section below you guys' thoughts on the S line. Will you miss the Note line? Do you like the fact that they combine the Note series with the S line? Mm, mm, and it still hides fingerprint. It's, oh. Oh, I mean, oh. We're going to see if I use the S pen like that. Really. We're going to see. We're going to see. But I'm digging the design of it right now. I still got some more little plastic pieces to peel off. Woo. You guys haven't already make sure to ignite the like button subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell so you don't know my videos oh. <clears throat> so we can sit back chillax see what's cracking Ch uh man mike is signing out to the next video oh. wait for